All right, good evening and welcome to this Yoga for Recovery, Realization and Resilience. My name is Brian and I'm delighted to be here with you tonight. Uh, this evening's class is going to be an energetic practice awakening to the cellular level and we're going to do some powerful breath to start then we'll come onto our mat and do some movement and then we'll work our way into um, our, our guided rest and so uh, we'll be here about 45 minutes this evening. Um, the goal here to just be present with yourself and to feel into awakening energy throughout the body and we'll kind of pay attention to individual parts of the body as we move through the practice. So as always, we start by finding our supports. So bring yourself into this place and into this space and find a supported posture, whatever that means to you. Feeling into whatever part of your body is in contact with the floor, the chair, the seat, the cushion, the wall. Just feel the parts of your body that are touching something and feel the sensation of that touch that connect, excuse me, that connection and then open your awareness to that connection being support. Remember our first guiding principle, which is support precedes action. Find your supports and then imagine you could root into those places of connection. It's extending down so that you could lift up, lift from the side body, lengthen through the spine, lengthen through the crown of the head. Tuck the chin slightly, feel the release at the back of the neck. Feel the full length of the spine from the base to the crown. And then in, in acknowledge or recognize or just look at for a moment, witness the shift that occurs in your body as the spine elongates and aligns. Feel into what energetic shift occurs. Maybe you feel the chest expand and the heart open. Maybe not. Feel into whatever it is you do feel as you lengthen through the crown while rooting into the base of the spine. Turning your awareness to your breath, find the breath as it appears underneath the nasal passages and begin to breathe in and out through the nostrils, following the inhale all the way in and the exhale all the way out. And holding your awareness right there, be right there at the beginning of the next inhale. Breathing in and knowing that you're breathing in. Breathing out and knowing that you're breathing out. And as you become aware of your breath in your body, on your next inhale, I invite you to float your hands to your heart in a way that brings awareness to your heart space. Feeling the warmth of the hands against the heart the beating of the heart beneath the hands. Begin to notice how the alignment of the rhythm of the breath with the rhythm of the heart. Hearing in the heartbeat, feeling into the breath. On your next inhale, I invite you to allow to arise in your heart space a sense of gratitude. Maybe one thing for which you are grateful. Maybe just the possibility of gratitude today. Whatever it is that arises when gratitude is called forth, see that clearly in your mind's eye. And then anchor your gratitude there in your heart space. And then... I'll invite us to set an intention for our practice today, perhaps a simple intention to just keep your gratitude anchored in your heart space or to be right there at the beginning of each inhale. But whatever your intention is for your practice this evening, I invite you to state that to yourself. Hear yourself in your mind's ear as you state your intention in a clear and declarative voice as if it is already done. And then listen as the echoes of your intention reverberate in your being while you take a full inhalation. And as you exhale, if you choose to, allow your chin to drop toward your grateful and intentional heart and offer a benediction to seal your intention as I say namo, namaste. Now release the hands, lift the chin, adjust your posture as you need to 
for this first invigorating breath. We're gonna begin with a breath of fire and bastrika breath, a utilizing of the diaphragm. Now, if you're on your menstrual cycle or pregnant, you'll just do long, deep breath, long inhale, deep into the body cavity, full exhale, completely emptying. And we're just gonna be here for a couple minutes. If you choose to, you can join in this move. We're gonna take the arms up, extending them 60 degree angle, and then fold the fingers back towards the top of the palm. So you're like you know, making little scrunchy hands, we might call those, okay? And your arms are straight, biceps are framing your ears, lengthening through the crown, rooting into the bottom. And then we're gonna begin with our breath of fire. Find your rhythm, your pace, your breath, your practice. So the diaphragm will come back and down on the exhale and the inhale will come naturally as the diaphragm releases out and up. Exaggerating for effect here so you can find this. And again, long deep breath or breath of fire and just find your rhythm, your pace, your breath, your practice. Thumbs pointing toward each other over the head, four fingers folded down to the top of the palm pad, arms extended, biceps framing the ears, and we're breathing. <laughs> Activating breath here, sometimes called ego adjuster or ego eradicator. Very powerful breath, very focused. <laughs> Moving energy up and down the spine, breathing <laughs> with focus and presence. <laughs> your rhythm, your pace, <laughs> your breath, you are practiced. Stay lifted and long. Stay focused on the breath. Full inhalation, extend the fingers, bring the thumbs together over the head. Lengthen, lift. Gently retain this breath as you lift at the base of the spine, at the pelvic bowl, at the heart. Relaxing the shoulders even though the arms are lifted, tucking the chin, feeling everything lifting to the third eye, the brow point. And exhale, release the arms gently down. Hands on the knees, thumb and forefinger together. Relax and let everything settle. Now that we have your attention, feel into your own shift. Maybe that two minutes changed something profound for you. Maybe not. Just notice where you are, be in your own experience. Full inhalation here. Complete exhale. Inhale. Exhale. A full inhalation, a complete exhale. Come around to your mat in tabletop posture. We're gonna move the spine a little bit here so the knees are underneath the hips, feet straight back, tops of the feet in, hands underneath the shoulders, maybe slightly in front, Creating a little space as you lengthen through the crown. On the inhale, the belly drops, the heart lifts, crown lifts, hips rise, 
Lower spine arches on the exhale, the spine rounds. Chin drops to the chest, biceps frame the ears, hips roll under. Move with your rhythm, your pace, your breath, your practice. Breathing in and out through the nose. Adding a little tightness in the back of the throat, that glottis tightens so that we have this ocean breath or victorious breath, Ujjayi breath happening. We can hear your own breath and move to the rhythm of your own breath. And you find your pace as the spine begins to open up with this arching and rounding. Powerful breath. Inhale to neutral. Retain the breath. Squeeze at the base of the spine, pelvic bowl and heart, crown long. And exhale, inhale here, exhale, push the hips back toward the heels, coming into your extended child's pose. Release the forehead to a block or to the mat, find your release, walk the fingertips out so that the arms are engaged but relaxed, press into the fingertips, heel of the palm, feel your Extension here as the hips move back and the fingers move away. Crabs relax. Maybe your forehead on the block. Maybe you rotate the head a little side to side, massaging temple to temple. Opening up the neck a little bit, releasing any tension, upper shoulders and back. Breathe in here, full inhalation. Complete exhale. Inhale here. Exhale here. A full inhalation. A complete exhale. On right, your next inhale, come forward in table. On your exhale, curl the toes, press into the ball of feet and the heel, and then press into the finger and the heel of the palm, lift the knees. Exhale, continue to lift the hips high and back. Press the chest and stomach back to the thighs. Release the crown to the mat. Release the heels to the bottom of the mat. Now we're facing dog. Full inhalation. Complete exhale. Inhale here. And exhale. A full inhalation. A complete exhale. Ah. Inhale, look up between the hands. Exhale, walk the feet forward gently. Bring the feet between the hands. Come into forward fold. Release the hands, release the head. Full inhale here. Complete exhale. Press into the feet, lift the hips. Relax the head. Inhale here. Exhale. A full inhalation. A complete exhale. Bring the hands to the palm. Bring the palms to the shins. Straighten the arms. Lift the back. Flat back. Breathe in. Full inhale. Complete exhale. Long through the crown and the side of the body. Inhale here. Exhale. A full inhalation. Exhale, release the hands, release the head forward, fold. Bend the knees slightly, feel the feet root down. As you inhale, slowly roll up, one vertebra at a time. 
saving the head and neck for last. As the torso comes upright, the shoulders will naturally roll up and down. Palms will turn forward, the chin will lift. Full inhale here. Complete exhale. Notice what shifts. Feel that blood change direction. Inhale here. Exhale here. A full inhalation. A complete exhale. Bring the hips forward, the back of the palms back. Find your full length here on the inhale. Take the arms up. Inhale here. Exhale. Full inhalation. Complete exhale. Inhale here, get long. Exhale, bring the hands to prayer at the chest. Mountain pose, full inhale, complete exhale. Moving now, inhale, the arms go high, tall mountain. On the exhale, we hinge at the hips and fold forward, forward fold. On the inhale, we come to a flat back, breathing behind the heart. On the exhale, we fold, place the hands beside the feet, step the right foot back to a lunge, step the left foot back to join it. Inhale to a plank, press long through the heels and the crown of the head. Exhale, lower down, knees, chest, chin, or reverse push-up, come all the way to the mat. Release the tops of the feet, press into the tops of the feet as you inhale, lift the chest, lift the heart, cobra. As you exhale, release the feet, curl the toes. Inhale, press up to a plank. Exhale, press back to a downward dog. Take a breath, full inhalation. Complete exhale. Inhale, look up between the hands. Exhale, left foot forward, right foot joins it, forward fold. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root and rise. Gather as you go through tall mountain. Exhale, release the hands to prayer. Take a breath, full inhale. Complete exhale. One movement, one breath. Inhale, tall mountain. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold hands beside the feet. Left foot back, right foot back joins it. Inhale, plank, strong, steady, and sure. Exhale, lower down. Reverse push up or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, release the tops of the feet. Come to cobra or maybe up dog. Exhale, curl the toes, press back, downward facing dog. Take a breath, full inhale. Complete exhale. Inhale here, look up between the hands. Exhale, right foot forward, left foot joins it, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root and rise. Tall mountain. Exhale, hands to prayer. Everything comes center. Take a breath. Full inhale. Complete exhale. Moving on, continuing. Here we go. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Walk, step, or float back to plank. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower down, your choice. Inhale, rise up, your choice. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Take a breath, full inhale. Complete exhale. Inhale, look up between the hands. Exhale, walk, step, or float forward, forward, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise and gather. Exhale, 
Hands to prayer, centering the heart. Full inhale. Complete exhale. All right, we're going to do three more of these. Inhale up. Exhale, hinge and pull. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold and float back. And see if you can lower all the way on that one movement, one breath. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, press back. Take a breath and down dog. Full inhalation. Complete exhale. Inhale, look up between the hands. Exhale, find your way forward, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root and rise, gathering through tall mountain. Exhale, centering in the heart. Take a breath in mountain, full inhale. Complete exhale. Two more on your own. Your rhythm, your pace, your breath, your practice. Taking a breath when you get to down dog. The home page centering in. Blowing with your breath. Taking a breath in mountain. Recentering, recommitting, finding your intention. Move through your practice. Be with yourself and your breath on your mat, in your space. Find your rhythm. Find your flow. Find your breath and be in your breath. Being up in mountain, just bring Steady and sure, centering in, noticing for yourself where you feel energized, sun salutation, wonderful warm up exercise. Release the hands. All right, let's add a little twisting movement here. I'm facing the long side of your mat, take your feet a little bit wider than your hips. Bring your right hand to your heart and your left hand back behind you. Keep the knees a little soft, a little fluidity in your legs so that you can move. Inhale to left. As you exhale, bring your left hand to the heart. The right hand goes where it goes behind you or out to the side. And then inhale back to the left, right hand, heart, left hand, and then just continue. Your rhythm, inhaling left, exhaling right, opening up the body. Moving the spine rotationally. We did flexion and inflection earlier with our seated cat cow. We did a little warm up with our sun salutations. Now we're moving, just kind of energize the entire body around that spinal cord and breathing. Find your rhythm. No need to overdo anything, just be in your practice. A little bit of flex in the knees so that the body can rotate freely. Feeling the, just the joy of this movement, the breath in the body. One more here. Inhale to center both hands on the heart. Full inhale. Complete exhale. Everything settle. 
root down into the feet. Inhale here. Exhale here. A full inhalation. A complete exhale. Take the feet out wider than the shoulders. Turn the toes slightly in. Press the heels slightly out. Feel the weight balanced in the outside part of the feet. Bring the hands to the waist. Inhale. Lengthen through the crown. Open the heart. Open the chest. Breathe into the heart. Full inhale. Exhale. Press the hips back toward the wall behind you as you lengthen the crown long parallel to the mat. Flat back. Breathe in behind the heart. Full inhale. Complete exhale. Extend the hands behind you. Maybe rest the wrists on the lower back or maybe not. Interlace the fingers. Press the palms away from you. Get long here. Full inhale. Complete exhale. And then inhale here. Exhale. Hinge forward. Forward fold. Again, resting the arms on the back or maybe take the arms high. Opening up a little bit. Lifting out of the waist. Releasing the crown. Forward fold. Inhale here. Exhale. Full inhalation. Complete exhale. Release the hands underneath the face. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, walk the hands to the left. Keep both legs long. Bring the forehead toward the left knee. Breathing here. Full inhalation. Complete exhale. Inhale here. Exhale. A full inhale, a complete exhale. Inhale, walk the hands back to center, long through the crown. Exhale, walk the hands to the right foot, bringing the forehead toward the right knee. Press in the outside of that left foot, stay long through that right leg. Breathe here, inhale, exhale. A full inhalation. A complete exhale. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, walk the hands back underneath the face, long through the crown. Exhale, turn the fingers away from you and walk the hands underneath the body, taking the hands towards the wall behind you, releasing the head. Breathe deep as you press into the outer part of the legs. Feel that length. Wide-legged forward fold. Full inhale. Complete exhale. Inhale here. Exhale. A full inhalation. A complete exhale. Inhale here. Walk the hands back underneath the face. Turn the fingers Forward, press back through the hips. Inhale here. Exhale, walk the hands to the left and roll the feet so that you're turning off the long side of your head, coming into a lunge. Press back through the right heel, down into the left heel. Bring the right hand inside the left foot. Left hand to the chest, rotate the torso to the left. Inhale, take the left arm high, simple twist. Press back through that right heel. Sink into that left heel, long line of energy from the fingertips, also from the heel to the crown, oppositional energy here, per per perpendicularity of axes, I could say that. Go inhale, exhale, face down, bring the left hand down, frame the foot. Step the left foot back to join the right, inhale to your plank. Exhale, press back down on facing dog. A full inhale. A complete exhale. Inhale here. Exhale, bring the right foot forward between the hands. Press back through the left heel. Mm. Find your lunge. Balance here. Bring the left hand inside the right foot. Bring the right hand to the chest. Rotate the torso to the right. 
Inhale, take the right arm high as you press back through the left heel, down into the right heel. Sink in, simple twist. Full inhale. Comfy exhale. Inhale here. Exhale, look down, bring the right hand down. Step the left foot back and join the right. Inhale, plank. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Full inhale. A complete exhale. All right. On the inhale, the left leg goes straight back as if you're stamping the wall behind you. Press into the right heel, then flex the toes of the left foot. Inhale here, take the left leg high. Exhale. Stack the hips, lift the knee to, left knee toward the ceiling, drop the left heel toward the right buttock. Look up under your left armpit. Opening the side body, breathing in, full inhale. Complete exhale. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, level the hips. Inhale, extend the leg long. Exhale, bring the knee to the nose underneath the body. Inhale, press back and up, lift. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, press and lift. Exhale, add a twist, knee to right elbow. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, bring the left knee outside the left wrist. Bring the left foot underneath the body, maybe over to the right wrist, depending on your body. Drop your right knee and the top of your right foot. Now, find yourself here. Walk the hips back. One, maybe two. Press into the fingertips and lift the torso. So we're getting puffy pigeon chest here. We're lengthening out of the waist up through the back and up through the crown, supporting ourselves here, opening through the back, breathing in. Modified king pigeon, breathing here, full inhale. Complete exhale. Utilize your supports here, maybe use your blocks if you're comfortable doing so. Maybe you bring your hands to prayer. Mm -hmm. Full inhale, complete exhale. Inhale here, exhale here. A full inhalation, a complete exhale. Extend and lift through the crown, breathe into the heart, full inhalation. Exhale, bring your hands back forward a little bit and then walk your hips back forward to that neutral space. Curl the toes of the right foot, lift the right knee, press up out of the hands, lift the hips, create space, and then inhale, left leg high as you push into a three-legged dog. Exhale, lift the left knee, drop the left heel toward the right buttock, look up under the left armpit, breathe here, full inhale. Complete exhale. Inhale here. Exhale, level the hips. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, left foot down. Downward facing dog. Full inhalation. Complete exhale. Other side. Press back to the left heel as you lift the right leg straight back, stamping the wall behind you. Then flex the toes of the right foot. Inhale, the right leg high. Exhale, rotate and stack the hips. Lift the right knee to the ceiling. Drop the right heel toward the left foot. Look up under the right armpit. Breathe here. Full inhale. Complete exhale. Inhale here. Exhale here. Full inhalation. Exhale, level the hips. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose underneath the body. 
Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, high. Exhale, add a twist, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, high. Exhale, right knee comes outside the right wrist. Right foot comes underneath the body, maybe over to the left wrist. Drop the left knee, top of the left foot. Find your balance here, level the hips, and then maybe take a step back, inching your hips back, creating your balance. Maybe walk your fingertips back, come up on your fingertips, puffy pigeon chest. Breathing here. Full inhale. Establish yourself here, lifting out of the crown, long through the back. Maybe you bring your hands to your prayer. Maybe not. Maybe you support yourself with blocks. Staying level. Trying not to overbalance in any direction here. Breathing long through the crown. Full inhale. Complete exhale. Inhale here. Exhale here. A full inhalation. A complete exhale. Walking your hands back out under the shoulders. Press into the palms and the heel of the finger. Fingertips and heel of the palm, excuse me. Inch the hips back forward level. Curl the toes of the left foot, lift the left knee, lift the hips, create space. Inhale, take the right leg back and high. Exhale, stack the hips, lift the knee, drop the heel. Inhale here. Exhale here. A full inhalation. A complete exhale. Inhale here. Exhale, level the hips. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, bring the right foot down, downward facing dog. A full inhalation. A complete exhale. <sighs> Inhale, look up between the hands. Exhale, walk, step, or float the feet forward. Bring the hips down. Come down onto your back. Mm. Take a breath here. Walk the feet out to the edges of the mat. Drop the knees in toward each other. Bring the hands to, to the abdomen. Active rest here. Lengthen through the crown. Breathe in. Full inhale. Complete exhale. Inhale here. Exhale here. A full inhalation. A complete exhale. Moving into our twist, walk the feet back together. Bring the right leg high, press through the heel, bring the hands out from the shoulders. Press the palms there, relax the shoulders, lengthen like through the crown. Bring the knee towards the face, create some space. Exhale, cross the legs over tightly, press the back of the right hamstring into the top of the left thigh. Right foot outside the left calf, or maybe it hooks around if you have that flexibility. A full inhale here. As you exhale, both knees will come across the body to the right as you look over the left shoulder. Now the left shoulder is going to stay down on the mat and relaxed. We're going to relax across the front of the body. We're going to let the weight of the legs do the work here. Gravity will do the work as we allow ourselves to open. And the thought, if there is one, is that the knees are moving away from the face more so than down to the floor. Opening across the front of the body, breathing into the back of that left hip. Full inhale. Complete exhale. Inhale here. Exhale. A full inhalation. A complete exhale. Inhale. Knees back to center. Crown back to center. Take the right leg high. 
reach up and grab just behind the hamstring or the knee or the calf and just gently bring the knee toward the face and then release the right leg long. Release the left leg long. Bring the knees into the chest, squeeze just below the knees, rock a little side to side, release any tension. And then bring the feet to the floor. Take the arms out, take the left leg high, press through the heel. And then bring the knee towards the face, create space. Exhale, cross the left knee across, left thigh, leg across the right, pressing the back of the left hamstring into the top of the right thigh. Left foot outside the calf, or maybe it hooks around. Lengthen through the crown. Inhale here. Exhale, both knees go across the body to the left as you look over the right shoulder. And again, the right shoulder is relaxed and down, no tension here. Gravity is doing the work here. The weight of the legs are helping to open across the body. The knees are moving away from the face as you open across the front of the body and breathe deep into that back of that right hip. Full inhale. Complete exhale. Inhale here. Exhale. A full inhalation. A complete exhale. Inhale back to center. Take the left leg high, reach up and grab behind the leg, bring the knee toward the face, and then release the left leg long. Take the right leg long, and then bring both knees into the chest, squeeze and rock a little bit side to side. Okay. Taking the hands to the shins, to the bottom of the feet, lift the shoulders, bring the knee toward the nose, inhale here, squeeze everything in tight, squeeze, squeeze, bring everything in here, and exhale, release the legs long. Let the toes fall open. Take the heels as wide as is comfortable for you on your mat. Turn the palms up at the hips. Lengthen through the crown. Pull down on the side ribs so you feel the lower spine on the mat. And then let go. And allow yourself to move into rest. Now take a moment as you move into your rest to provide yourself with any additional support you may want in this posture. Maybe you have an eye cloth, a blanket or a shawl, a bolster, anything that will provide you perhaps 1% more support as you release and let go into your guided rest. I'm gonna do a nice Guided rest practice here, allowing all of the work to integrate, allowing all of the energy that you've raised and moved through the body to settle, witnessing the activation and the energizing of your body, feeling into what has changed for you since you started the practice, checking in with your gratitude and your intention, feeling into the results of the being present for a few minutes as you move your body with breath, allowing yourself to experience the benefit of your practices in order to breathe deeply, think clearly, move freely, and rest fully. Just let go. Let go. You're done. Be done. Allow yourself to be done. Release any contemplation and analysis of the practice. Just witness your experience. Just be present with yourself. No need to converse, analyze. Just allow, you know, into what it is like to feel the full backside of your body supported. Feel into the support that's available to you in this moment. 
the entire back side of the body being held in place, gravity holding you in the comfort and security of your own space. Your breath being delivered to you freely without effort. Allow yourself to just receive and rest. R and R, rest and receive. Having found yourself here in rest, allowing yourself to just be for a few minutes, we're going to experience a little bit of the power of silence for the next minute or so. Just resting in our own space. chance you notice that your attention has wandered away and if so I invite you to bring gratitude to that noticing and gently compassionately return your focus to your breath on your next inhale I invite you to return awareness to your body perhaps wiggling your toes and your fingers, maybe rotating your wrists and your ankles. Having returned attention to your body, I invite you on your next inhale to bring your knees to the ceiling, your heels toward your hips and to extend your right arm alongside your head, bicep framing your ear. When you are ready, and only when you are ready, slowly roll to your right side, using that arm to cradle your head and neck. Take a moment here on your right side to prepare to be upright again, reestablishing your connection with the earth, your equilibrium with yourself. 
And when you are ready, and only when you are ready, bring your left arm in front of your chest and use that left arm to help leverage yourself back to a seated posture. Whatever that looks like for you, taking your time to reestablish your supports, feeling into your connection to the earth, lengthening and coming upright. And as you come back upright, reestablish your breath. And on your next inhale, I invite you once again to float your hands to your heart space and allow to arise in your heart space perhaps one more thing for which you are grateful. And as you witness yourself resting in gratitude, sitting in gratitude, breathing in gratitude in your space, I'll take this opportunity to extend my sense of gratitude to you from my space. Thank you so much for coming and sharing your practice. I am honored to be here, truly. And as always, I invite and encourage you to stay here in meditative witnessing, in grateful rest for as long as you like. And when you do finally rise, please take your gratitude and the echoes of your practice with you as you go through the remainder of your day, lifting yourself and all that you come into contact with. Have an amazing day.